a Dostoevsky in quote, which is a beauty will save the world and idiot. And it's a very interesting thing because I think it's a flip side of your beauty because I think there's two types of beauty here. There's beauty as in the action itself and beauty in the potential of an action. Because when, and the quote has said it, when Mushkin looks at the first picture of Nastasia Filipinova, where she looks where he looks at the painting and you should see sadness. But of course, Nastasia is like the most beautiful girl ever in the book, at least. And you, and you look at her and you're like, well, like, why is he saying there's beauty in it? The, the face value reason is like, well, the girl is beautiful, but I don't necessarily think that's the case because, well, physical beauty is not sufficient to save the world. I mean, if anyone said, look at this girl, she's hot, the world is now saved. Like, that's like the last thing you'll think of it. And Dostoevsky clearly wouldn't mean that. But I think it's more like as if the, the potential for redemption in her life would is sufficient to save the world. And I think that's another way to look at it. Like, redemption is the most important thing. Well, I think it's also a very, very tricky thing for we, for us to distinguish between pretty, being pretty, and being beautiful. Because it's clearly something similar to both that they attract our attention. But mm-hmm. we, we we treat beauty as something a lot more profound and a lot more important than mere prettiness or or mere appearance. But how do you think we can distinguish between the two? I honestly don't know. I think. I think your discussion about the ethical, the idea that you are at peace, there's there's this there's this linkage between beauty and and peace, just as there's a beauty or a linkage between the ethical and peace in the sense that you're not you're not actively trying to pursue something significantly. You're like it's a passive appreciation of it instead of an active pursuit of it. And there's a fundamental subtle difference here because I was looking at this girl recently and 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 not in the weird way, but like I have a close friend, right? And and she, she's not the pretty type of a girl, right? But at the same time I was looking at her, I was like, well, that's very beautiful. And, and I, I didn't get it, but then now that you've raised it, I think that might be the, that might be the sufficient difference. I, and I don't know how to explain it. I don't think words do it justice, but I hope you understand what I'm trying to bring across. There's some sense yeah, of appreciation I mean, and awe. Well, it's almost like, uh, to use a Heideggerian term, I think mean, <laughs> a kind of attunement. It's, mm-hmm. I, I think a, a musical metaphor is very, very apt here. It's, almost like you're, you're able to hear something, something that's beyond appearance, if in, in a kind of Schopenhauerian sense. And, and that is beauty more, more than prettiness. I completely agree with you on that one, I think. And there was also this sense of peace I felt there. And it was, and it was very profound. It was a very deep peace I felt last night. I was like just listening there and I was just like, I, I feel very, I was at ease at myself. Like I, I could forget and lay down everything in the past. 